Et lups clara vita nova stirans ora veritas et anima pura corat collocitu ora. Sanctus Deus omnipotens sol de mi it lumen dens in eternum pax et sensus animae nostrum sunt podus omnia nostra laudamus corunum illumum stamus dona nobis pace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen. Opening Prayer Heavenly Father, we come before you today with open hearts, seeking your presence. We ask for the grace to understand your word, the strength to live according to your will, and the courage to transform our lives. Send us your Holy Spirit to guide us in meditation, that we may grow closer to you. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. First reading, Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 144, 1-4. Response. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Response. Blessed be the Lord my rock. He is my loving God and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield, in whom I take refuge, who subdues peoples under me. Blessed be the Lord my rock. Lord, what are human beings that you care for them, mere mortals that you think of them? They are like a breath. Their days are like a fleeting shadow. Blessed be the Lord my rock. Gospel Acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Son of Man came not to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia. Luke 9, 7 and 9. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was perplexed, because some were saying that John had been raised from the dead, others that Elijah had appeared, and still others that one of the prophets of long ago had come back to life. But Herod said, I beheaded John. Who then is this? I hear such things about. And he tried to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sermon. Today's Gospel presents us with a curious figure in Herod. He's heard of Jesus, but his reaction is confusion, fear, and curiosity. He asks, Who then is this I hear such things about? Herod knew he had done wrong by killing John the Baptist. His conscience was uneasy, and now he was faced with someone even greater than John. Herod represents the struggle we all face. The tension between knowing the truth deep inside and yet being afraid to confront it. He wanted to see Jesus, but not out of faith, out of intrigue. He feared what this new figure might mean for him. How often do we do the same? We hear the words of Jesus, we encounter him in the sacraments, but we hesitate. We keep him at a distance because we fear what he might ask of us. We fear change. But Jesus doesn't come to condemn us or expose our weaknesses. He comes to heal us, to transform us, to lead us into deeper life. Today, as we meditate on this gospel, let us ask ourselves, who is Jesus to me? Is he just someone we hear about? Or is he the Lord who lives and reigns in our hearts? Do we approach him with fear, like Herod? Or do we come to him with trust, seeking healing and renewal? Let's take this moment to embrace Jesus fully, to let go of fear, and to allow his love to change us. There is no sin too great, no wound too deep, that he cannot heal. 
meditation. Take a deep breath and allow yourself to be still in God's presence. As you reflect on today's readings, consider the areas of your life where you've kept Jesus at a distance. Is there something in your past, a sin, a failure, or even a fear that keeps you from fully embracing his love? Imagine yourself standing before Jesus now. See his eyes, full of compassion and mercy, looking at you. He asks you, who do you say I am? Allow your heart to answer him. Take a few moments to silently pray, inviting Jesus to enter the areas of your life that need healing, forgiveness, and transformation. Closing prayer. Loving Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus. We thank you for his love and his presence in our lives. Help us not to be like Herod, confused and afraid, but to welcome Jesus into every part of our hearts. Give us the grace to trust in your mercy, to embrace your love, and to walk in your ways. May your word transform us, that we may live fully for you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.